Well, hello everybody. Today we're at a Volkswagen Amaruk and it's a 2 litre TDI Blue Motion and this is a by Turbo model. The engine code is CSHA, so it's Charlie Sierra Hotel Alpha. The complete, wait, I'll just shut that door. The complaint with this eh, thing is, wait a minute, open that door again. Well, that's strange. <laughs> Before I start, do you see that brake light? Do you see that pedal switch? It's flashing there. So that was flashing intermittently, but the problem is, we cannot get this thing out of park. So I put my foot on the pedal here, and when you go and try and move that, it's stuck. The other thing I noticed, there was no illumination here, no illumination on this panel, and when I pull fault codes, uh, well, first of all, I cannot communicate with the transmission control module, and when I go into the brake module, I'll just let you see this, read DTCs, it says it's got a no com with the transmission control module. So before, when I first of all came here, let me see, uh, there was fault codes within the engine module complaining about the park neutral switch. So I believe this is no powered up. I think this is a problem here. So I think the first thing to do is check fuses or check the integrity of the fuse or something like that. But just to wind back, see when I first arrived at this car, I started it, the green light showed, see that? The green light showed and I pressed it and I managed to slip it into a drive. So I do not know what's going on here. The guys had it various places and it kind of resolved it. Oh, there we go. We've just actually went into reverse at the moment so that's actually just went in so you can see that mm, i wonder if still a bit worrying that i've not got any lights here i definitely should have lights here i'll put the lights on ah, these lights are not illuminating so we're now in how would that be reverse neutral drive now i thought i'm not sure where the display is but i thought you would have a display up there to say the thing was uh, going, but mm, the very fact that that's going in now, maybe is a part neutral switch. Let's see. It's pretty quick as well. But I've not got any comms, the transmission control module, as you can see, that's the uh, number two. So I'm, sh I'm sure in this one, it's fuse 50, 58 and 31 or 10, depending on the model year. So I think it'd be better to go and check them first for communication with this thing here. Yeah, this this system's actually it's two parts. It's mechanical and electrical or electronic. So I've actually just got a a lever here, which I think Volkswagen called Triptronic system. Uh, but the Triptronic bit is only when you go between drive and I think that's sports mode. And there's actually a lever underneath here. It goes to the back. It goes to the box. So it's a two-part system, and as you can see there, I cannot talk to the transmission control module, but we're going to back into the engine. Still nothing. Ah, because we're going into the brake module, it then starts to flash on the dash for the ABS. That's three DTCs. So no, no comb from the transmission. So we don't need that one. Parking brake not operated. I'll pull up the handbrake. So that's activated. So that's a parking brake, it's a handbrake. The brake light switch is activated, off, not operated. So I don't know why that still flashes. A strange one that. Uh, brake system. So that's operated on ABS. Steering angle, pressure, pressure. Data bus info transmission 14. I don't know what that means. Engine. Engine 7. Information deactivated. Immobilizer. 
Transmission, transmission. See that went zero then one. It's coming and going, I think. That's interesting. So I think that's it offline, that's it online. Now that's interesting. So when I put the key off, I'm in neutral. I cannot take the key out the lock, which is, that's fair enough. You shouldn't be able to do that. But when I then start this back up, you can see neutral actually illuminates. So we have got power, then it goes off. Let's see, we'll then go into reverse. Makes one mighty clunk. So, mmm, that is strange. We'll turn it off and drive. See, there's no start and drive, but it is illuminating, you can see that. We'll go back into neutral. Key on, key off, and it starts. You can see neutral's illuminated, then it goes out. Let's press that button there, it doesn't do anything. That button works. Off road, on road, I can't see anything there, and these buttons work. So you can see that on road, off button works. Don't know what that means. Mm. Now this, is, this is getting more bizarre by the minute. So engine off, key on. The green light is steady. I then have the red light on in that panel, and now I'm going into the transmission, and I can still I can now read it. So read DTCs. So it said limp home control unit reset, and start a disable circuit. So that's passive, whatever. So that maybe because I was trying to start it and drive. But this limp home control unit reset, a P170300. Mm, strange, this is like a bad air or a bad connection. Mm. So let's come out, let's read data stream. Uh, select all. Unselect. Let's display gear. Right, let's just go display gear. So, drive on S on. Well, look there, it's displayed new reverse, neutral, and then we're in drive. So it can, it can do all these things. Right. We'll go back to neutral and then we'll start it up. Then that then dis <laughs> that then disappears and we we'll lose communication. So we'll try to go back into the transmission control module. And that's went down, we've lost communication and we we'll lost communication with that as well. So, we'll put that off, we'll put the key back on, take my foot off, and the light comes back. So I can guarantee I can then communicate transmission control module. Wow! What is happening here? Okay, read DTCs. So the control unit reset. So let's clear these DTCs. Clear fault code. Yes. No fault codes. Read DTCs. No fault codes. Let's put a foot in the brake and start her up. And the light then goes out again and we lose our display. So I can guarantee we've got no communication now. Read DTCs. No communication when it starts. Bizarre, bizarre. Let's look at the charging voltage, I think. 
Right, I think we're going to be getting somewhere. So I've been cranking this car in, on and off and it's like it's got a low battery power, so listen to this. Oh, it's not doing it this time. It was clicking and it was not cranking over like it had low voltage. You could hear it crackling and everything like that. Like... <laughs> No doing it this time. It did do it. So what I done was I'll show you what I done. I just it was it was not cranking over, and it was like a bad air. So I just simply took a jump lead, I airfed it onto the engine block, and I just put the other one there to battery negative. And then when I went back in, it cranked over. So I definitely think we've got an earthing problem here somewhere along the line. So but it's working okay now, and I checked the voltage. So we're get twelve point. I think it was. So when I put this on, oh, that's actually lighting up this time. Cranks over, then the lights go out. I still kind of get the thing to go. And I've not got any Prindle display either. So, let's see. They're actually all on at the moment. Fuse box is under there, and it was fuse uh, 58 and 45. So check that's that's 45 there, and 58. Oops, is that one up there? The green one, 30 amperes. That one, and they seem to be good. So I decided to scan it with a little hotel unit, and uh, this is the codes that came up. So engine control module, lost calm with TCM. Brakes, engine control module, no signal communication, so that's passive sporadic. So the one that's active the now is a TCM. And then in the air condition, function limitation due to missing message. That would be TCM. In the central electric, it's terminal 30, windscreen wiper, open circuit, terminal 75, emergency running. The parking assistance, function limitation due to missing message. Uh, and the gateway, engine control module, transmission control module, uh, and then the navigation trailer function, and in the trailer function, engine control module, no signal communication. Seems to be many, many network issues here. But what I did do, I went underneath, went underneath the car to where the automatic gearbox is, there's a big multi-plug, and I twisted that, well, I wiggled it. But now you can see with me wiggling it, the fan is on up the front and I've no longer got that flashing green light. But actually, these lights are illuminated. And uh, But if it, you've got to wait till you get that green thing on the dash before I come back. So I'm going to go back underneath and wiggle that plug again, see if it comes back or take it off and put it back on. So uh, maybe there's oil in it or a bad air. That's what I'm going for anyway. This is a difficult shot. <laughs> So, no wonder we're having problems. Look at the state of that multi-plug. It's absolutely soaking. So, where's the mess coming from? Internal? Leaking out the box? Or has it something been getting in past that seal? The seal looks pretty good. So, what I'm going to do is spray it with that electrical cleaner. And see if we can clean this up and get it going. But there you go. So that's a big multi-plug going into the Z, this is an 8-speed ZF box. So I took that multi-plug, sprayed it with that stuff and put it back together. And we'll have a result. <laughs> it no longer starts now, so when I crank it, it says part neutral. And then it says this, uh, comes up with brake, it says brake or something like that. Safe lock, part neutral. Well, no, it'll not even crank anymore. <laughs> oh dear. You can see there that I'm into the dashboard module, number 17. So it's got the engine control module, it can communicate with that active transmission. No active brakes, active central electrics, active. So everything else is uh, fine, so it will not allow the thing to start. 